Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I've been posting some videos over the last couple of months, the most recent being on the 4th of April, about Microsoft's new One Outlook email client for Windows 10 and 11, and at the time of posting that last video, um, could be made available for testing soon. Now just to do a quick recap, uh, it was codenamed Pro Project Monarch and had been in development for more than a year and would be an upgraded version of the current web app, which you see open on my desktop, with Microsoft aiming to unify all the existing email clients to help uh, users manage uh, their email across different platforms. Now this is just a quick update video. Um, as, um, as mentioned in the last video, um, it's going to be what's going to be made available for, available for testing. And earlier today, on the uh, 6th of May 2022, uh, the uh, preview version or beta version has been made available for testing. But unfortunately, though, it's not going to work if you have a personal email account. It's only working if you have uh, and trying to sign in with a work and school education account. Now, I did download the preview um, of the uh, One Outlook. Um, tried, you know, just to see if it would work with my personal account and obviously didn't as mentioned. So I won't be able to actually show you the actual app, but there have been some screenshots that have been made available that will give you a good indication of what the new um, the One Outlook preview app is all about that's been made available earlier on today. Now, as mentioned, it, uh, it looks very similar to the Outlook web app over at Outlook.com as seen in the uh, beginning of this video. And uh, um, uh, one or two things, uh, little changes and improvements, so to speak, just to mention quickly in this video, is at the top um, where your options are for your email, um, it looks more like your, um, your traditional um, Outlook desktop app um, with the style of the options at the top now in the new One Outlook. And then also, uh, if you compose a message or create an event in the calendar, it opens a new window, as we can see in this second screenshot, um, uh, just like um, um, and more or less like the uh, Outlook desktop app um, installed onto your device. And then, as mentioned in that previous video, uh, it's going to replace um, the built-in mail and calendar apps. Um, would, it's been suggested, though, it's going to replace the built-in mail and calendar apps on both Windows 10 and 11 with the new One Outlook email client. And at this stage, it's still in preview and Microsoft hasn't actually yet announced, officially announced this new preview version. But um, the reports are suggesting though that this is going to happen shortly. And then um, when it becomes more stable and comes out of preview, it, it will be made available for um, personal um, email accounts for home users, not just um, work and school education accounts. And as I mentioned, um, I have been able to download it. And... Um, I will leave the download link um, uh, in the description box below if you're interested. And this is what the uh, setup file will look like once you've downloaded it. It's a preview version, um, but uh, no worries. It is from Microsoft, so it's completely safe. There's nothing malicious about it. And if you have a, a work or school education account, you can try it out if you want to download it and check out some of those new features as mentioned in this video. So thanks for watching. I'll keep you updated on any more progress and I will see you in the next one.